Hello fellow pool shooters. This teaching video is designed to help you look like a real pool shooter. Now I'm not going to waste your time showing off pool tricks on how to make five balls at once or shoot a cue ball off of a cube of chalk. You can find those trick shots all over the internet. Those situations never come up in a real game and are not going to help you to learn the basics in order to look like a real pool shooter. When you look like an accomplished pool shooter, your feeling of confidence grows stronger and therefore your shots become more efficient. Let's begin from the ground up with a solid foundation. That starts with a good stance. Start with your feet spread comfortably apart and facing your target at a slight angle. Your body should be slightly off to the side so when you bend over, your head is naturally directly over your cue stick. Placing your head over the cue stick gives you the best view of your target. Once you are comfortable over the cue stick, lower your head as close to the cue stick as you can so that you can aim right down the stick like you would do with a rifle. All right, you are already on your way to looking like a real pool shooter. Now, it's important to have a good solid bridge in order to glide the tip of the cue stick consistently. There's basically two types of bridges for your bridge hand. There is the closed bridge where your index finger is wrapped around the cue stick and is resting on your thumb, and there is the open bridge where your thumb is squeezed against your hand and upwards creating a V for the cue stick to glide on. Either of these two bridges work effectively. There are five variations of these two basic bridges. They are used to put different spins on the cue ball. That spin is called English. Number one is used for hitting the cue ball at its lowest point, creating backspin on the cue ball in order to bring it back towards you after your shot. This is accomplished by bending the middle finger of the closed bridge underneath your hand so that you can lower the stick as much as possible. This can also be accomplished by lowering an open bridge as much as your bridge hand will allow. Number two is used for hitting the cue ball in the middle to create no spin. A standard closed or open bridge will work for this. Number three is used for hitting the cue ball at its higher point and is accomplished by raising the palm of your bridge hand off of the table. This is used to create a forward spin on the cue ball so that the cue ball follows the ball that is hit. Number four is used to shoot over a ball. This is an open bridge raised up onto your fingertips and the butt end of the cue stick elevated. Number five is a rare technique used for extreme elevation occasions. This is accomplished by crossing the index finger over your middle finger and then pressing your fingers down onto the table for an extra strong foundation. Whatever you do, make sure that you do not use a bridge that allows the cue stick to move through your hand uncontrolled. That is a surefire way for people to see that you don't know what you're doing. Don't look stupid! When gripping the butt end of the cue stick, hold it at a balance point so that your arm from the elbow down can hang relaxed. This frees up any tension and allows your arm to have a smooth flowing stroke. Unless absolutely necessary to reach a far away shot, do not hold the cue stick at the very butt end. This creates tension in your arm and shows, once again, that you don't know what you're doing. Don't look stupid! Now, let's talk about the importance of a smooth flowing pool shooting stroke. You want a smooth flowing stroke because it not only removes the tension in your arm, but also helps the cue stick to glide in a consistently straight path. This should be a flowing forwards and backwards motion from the elbow to the hand only. The rest of your body should remain as still as a statue. The only moving parts should be your elbow and wrist on your stroking arm. This is one of the keys in having the look of a professional pool shooter. 
As you look back and forth between the cue ball and your target ball, your stroke should remain flowing smoothly the whole time. Then, right before you shoot, look at the target ball last and hit the ball during one of your already flowing forward strokes. When applying English to the cue ball, a good rule is never to hit the cue ball more than one Q-tip's width away from the center of the ball. This applies to left and right English as well as low and high English. You can get more spin on the cue ball than you think by keeping the Q-tip contact point within one Q-tip's width around the center of the ball. Like this shot where your opponent scratches and your only target ball is behind the line in the kitchen. Your goal with this shot is to hit the cue ball into the side rail outside of the kitchen, then spin the cue ball left and back into the kitchen to hit your ball into the hole. This was done by hitting the lower left side of the cue ball one cue tip's width from center. Or this shot where you want to make the cue ball come backwards towards you with backwards spin. And like this shot where you have to curve your cue ball around another ball in order to hit your target. Once again, all of these shots were done by hitting the cue ball only one cue tip's width from the center of the ball. While on this subject, it is necessary to always keep chalk on the cue tip. It helps to prevent the cue tip from slipping off the side of the cue ball causing a miscue and usually a missed shot. Another important thing in looking like a real pool shooter is to relax your facial muscles. Some accomplished players even like to have a sly smile on their face while shooting pool. This not only relieves tension but gives the illusion of confidence and causes your opponent to wonder what you are thinking. A contorted or strained expression on your face is a dead giveaway that you don't know what you're doing. Don't look stupid! So, let's review these few basics that you should apply to every shot for the rest of your life. A solid stance. A good bridge. A smooth flowing stroke with nothing moving but your elbow and wrist. And a relaxed look on your face. You, my new pool shooting friend, are now looking like a real pool shooter. Now, my dearest pool shooting brothers and sisters, as I'm sure you know, there is a financial burden that accompanies the production of a valuable learning tool like this. And the future production of more of these fine videos lies in the hands of all you wonderful viewers that seek enlightenment upon the many pool tables that will cross your path during your remaining years. Now, if you feel that you've benefited in any way from the sharing of this hard-earned knowledge and that this lesson will give you a worthwhile advantage in helping you win your next pool shooting wager, perhaps you could be so kind as to put one small, thin $5 bill into an envelope with a note from you telling me how you now have become a better pool shooter. Please mail your note and generous donation to Lefty at P.O. Box 29301, Bellingham, Washington, 98228, so that we can keep making more of these educational pool shooting lessons. Happy shooting, my fellow pool shooters.